Hey guys and girls, welcome back. Yeah, I hate my recording software. I hate the software so much. It, I, I can't blame the software. I think, I don't know, something must be up with my computer or something. Because it's really annoying. It, it closed out the uh, the old, uh, uh, the, the part 7 before. Like, just, just randomly just closed it off for no reason. It's annoying as heck. Really, really annoying. Um, I wanted to continue that a little it's my longer. First time on this highway, actually. But yeah. Oh yeah. This area wasn't part of your field study then, I'm guessing. Nope. But we did drive on this um, in a cutscene with a motorcycle once. Let's see, army station out there. Guess mobile lines. I can't believe what I'm seeing. But it looks like they've set up a checkpoint. Luckily, Elgato backs up recording, so it was saved somewhat. All those armored cars, they've even got a few soldats on watch, too. Man, I can't believe they've got those things stationed at checkpoints. Looks like Trist is being really heavily guarded. This route does lead to the capital as well, so that's no surprise. Well, there's no getting through here, unfortunately. Sorry, this was a waste of time. Not at all. Thanks to you, I, I can get back to focusing on the task at, at hand. Seriously, thanks. Hey, no need to thank me. To be honest, I was just hoping I'd be able to get in contact with old Nick. I didn't realize you guys were that close. I've known him for years. Figured talking to him would be the fastest way to figure out what's going on elsewhere in the country. Oh well. Well, we're not going to achieve much hanging around here. We best get out of here before they spot us. Yeah, we're not too far from Caldic. Back to Caldic we go. Treasure. Grab that. We're fighting a right. Let's get uh, started. What are these things called? Here I go. Is it? It's not a daisy, right? No, I don't own my flowers. I forget what these things are called. You blow on them and you make a wish. And you fly up in the sky. You nailed it. Going the right way, right? Yeah. Okay. Just want to make sure. Cause I seen those flags, and I was like, "What?" All right. So we're going to Caldic right there. Caldic Old Market. We gotta find whoever's here. Been a while since the last time I was in Keldic. Those farmers said things were tense here, but I was expecting worse. Yeah, it doesn't actually seem that bad, even with the odd armored car here and there. That's probably evidence of how much this war is going in the Alliance's favor. Hmm. So they've let that get to their heads, have they? We should start asking around to see if we can get anything out of the townsfolk. Here's hoping someone knows something about the rest of Class 7. Right. Oh, but one warning. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you this, but you're pretty high on the Noble Alliance's wanted list. Even if you're in plain clothing, try not to stand out too much. Otherwise, it's all over. Understood. 
Okay, let's get to work. Well, start off with the house right next to us. Hey, as a student. <sighs> really? Can I be bothered with nothing that with anything now? Especially the way the grand market is dead as it is. Is that a Thor's uniform? Huh? Pretty sure I know you face somewhere. Black hair, diligent attitude. Green? Is that you? Becky? With the good hair? <laughs> you know her? Yeah, we're in the same year at Thor's. How'd you want to appear, Becky? Uh, hold up. You're the one that should be explaining yourself first. You can tell me all the boot blondie here while you're at it. I don't know. She's Canadian. I don't know how to do a Canadian accent. Okay, maybe we should all calm down a little first. We can give her a brief explanation. Well, I was daft for thinking I'd understand any of that. So basically, you're, you're looking for the rest of Class 7. That's the gist of it. You managed to make it from Thor's to here on your own, right? Color me impressed. Truth is, Hugo secured an escape route for us. That's how I managed to make it all the way here. And was the student working at Kleisen Co, if I remember. He was the student working at Kleisen Co, if I remember correctly. Helped, huh? Does that mean he's not here now? I've got no idea what happened to him after that. We Bam ch chose the worst time to act all cool. It might be a little insensitive of me to ask right now, but do you have any info about Thor's or the other students? Anything on Class 7 in particular would be a huge help. The girl I escaped with is over at the church. Other than that, I've, I've got Hee Haw. The Provincial Army don't really care much about us normal students either. Really? I, I was questioned a fair bit when I first got here, but after that, they just let me do whatever. It's probably enough for them just knowing they can keep an eye on you. The second you start acting suspicious, they can swoop in and toss you in the slammer. And they probably see Class 7 as the most suspicious of all. Yeah, I know we'll have to sleep with one eye open around here. Well, thanks for letting us know, Becky. Just try to lay low for now. Don't go near anybody named Beyonce. Aye, aye. That was the plan. Not like I've got the motivation to do anything with the Grand Markets in this sad state. Hmm. Huh. Okay, Becky. Becky, Becky. Let's get out of here. Let's see who else maybe we can find. So we got we got two places to check. We'll go to the Grand Market last though. Check out uh, I think this might be an inn, I believe. Weatherbrook? Yeah. No. Wait a minute, aren't you one of Sarah's students? What are you doing here with Toval no less? Hello ma'am. I see things haven't changed much here. Hey, Margo, you're looking well. Last time we saw each other was when I came for that request. Been a while. Tova, aside, shouldn't, shouldn't you be hiding, young man? The Provincial Army was searching for you not that long ago. For me in particular? No one seems to suspect us yet, so we should be fine for now. I doubt they'll notice us so long as we don't do anything too crazy. Well, if you say so. <coughs> it's a relief to know you're okay. Are you going to be staying here? We're actually not sure what we'll, we'll be doing for now. More important than where we're staying. There's something we'd like to ask you. We explained. So you're searching for your classmates. Based on what we know, there's somewhere, there's somewhere around here. You wouldn't happen to have any leads at all, would you? Hmm. Sorry, can't say that I do. We barely got anyone new coming in as it is, thanks to all the train restrictions. And I would only be able to recognize the students who came with you last time. That's true. Well, just knowing they aren't staying here is a big help. By the way, we had heard that things were pretty tense here, but it seems to be relatively peaceful from what I can tell. 
Well, there hasn't been any direct effect on the town itself. Rumor has it there's fighting going on over near the eastern border, though. Over by Gorelia Fortress? Yeah, seems like the Imperial Army's holding their line of defense over there. A solid one at that, too. They say the Provincial Army is struggling to break through it. The Twin Dragons Bridge is over that way, too, actually. They must be fighting with the troops there. Yeah, well, that's why a lot of us are worried. If they're fighting that close by, then who knows when Keldic will get caught up in it. That is an unfortunate possibility. The market manager's been doing what he can to prevent the worst. But the provincial army doesn't exactly inspire confidence in their willingness to keep us safe, you know? If only this war would just be over and done with. I feel you. Thanks for the info, Margo. You be sure to watch your back, alright? Same to you. Be careful out there. That's it for in here, right? Alright. Let's go to the market. Let's see what the commotion is there. There's a few people there. She also said that the person she escaped with was at the church, right? Is she in here somewhere? I was just curious to see her, maybe. Uh, don't see nobody. Oh, in here. Is it her? No. second here guys Status, link, tactics, note. System. Alright. Just want to test that out a bit. Alright. Um, so let's go to the market. This is the grand market, huh? Pretty lively. Not as lively as it was, though. Yeah. This ain't the market I know. Come on, we just want your company for a while. There's no need to resist, you pretty thing, you. We, won't, we don't bite. My apologies, but I'm in the middle of doing some work for the church, and I happen to be underage too, so... Come on now, no need to be so quick to say no. Just come to the guardhouse, pour us a few drinks, and you'll be fine. If you really don't want to come with us, though, we do have other options open to us. You'd be surprised how easy it is to bring a girl like you in. We don't even need a good reason to arrest you. But I... Really? Are these guys for real? There has to be a way to stop them. Hold up, let me handle this one. Goodness me, you wouldn't happen to be soldiers from the provincial army, would you? Huh? Oh, lucky me. Couldn't have asked for a better timing. You see, I was kind of hoping for a teeny tiny favor from you guys. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Beat it. Hey, hey. We're all friends here, right? Here. Let's roll out some introductions. Call me Phil. I'm just your average, friendly contractor looking for some good business partners, so to speak. After hearing about your valiant accomplishments during this war, I just knew I had to work with you directly. That's why I was kind of hoping you'd put in a good word for me with your, the head honchos over at, at your guardhouse. Excuse me? Hmm. Why would we ever do that for a lowly merchant? You sure you should be making that assumption? You could be missing out. 
I hate to brag, but my, my reputation's pretty up there. Who knows? You might even get your name out there for introducing me. Hmm. Come on. Don't let a guy down. Actually, here. Maybe this will help convince you. Tobal set the soldiers some mirror. Now wait just a second. It's fine, it's fine. Think of it as a little gift if you want. So what do you say, fellas? Good grief. Well, we've got no reason to turn his <coughs> gift down. Phil, was it? We'll pass your name on, but I wouldn't hold my breath. That's what I like to hear. Wow. Ta-da. Calamine Press. Tell me now, where'd Phil come from? It's just one of my of the names I used to go by. But hey, I managed to sort that out nice and discreetly, right? Bracers like you have definitely earned their name. Thanks for the help, Toval. I thought I was going to have to resort to force, but I'm glad you were able to resolve things without even having to reach for your weapon. Haha, <laughs> no problem. Anyway, are you alright, sister? Yes, thank you very m much for your help. She's the other student, probably. Reen, what are you doing here? Rosine? Oh, another acquaintance of yours? Yeah, she's another first year, like me. I'm glad to see you're safe and sound, Rosine. Likewise. Would you mind accompanying me to the church? Staying here for too long may draw un unwanted attention. So has she become a sister, or has she just, is she hiding as one? Sounds good to me. After you. They said two of my, like, after they walked to the church, we took the time to explain to Rosine. So you're searching for the rest of Class 7. I can tell that you've been through some rather trying times. Well, I'm not the only one. Sounds like you had it rough, too. You and Becky escaped together, didn't you? I hear Hugo's the one who told you how to. That's correct, though we did end up splitting up from him along the way. I've been taking shelter here ever since. All while praying as much as possible for everyone else's safety. Any chance you've heard anything about the other students, or maybe even the academy itself? We're trying to figure out as much as we can. Unfortunately, I don't know anything. That's a shame, but the important thing is that you're safe. Actually, on that note, is the provincial army always that bad? Kinda messed up that they're getting flat out hammered in the middle of the day. It's a relatively common occurrence, yes. They'll often get drunk and start breaking things or take goods from people's stalls without paying. It's not as though the merchants can do anything to stop it either. Nobody wants to have their goods re requisitioned. Hmm. Sounds like the soldiers who aren't on the front lines have a lot of free time on their hands. Caldic hasn't been swept up into any battles so far, so yeah. Well, be sure to take extra care from here on out, Rosine. And make sure to give the soldiers a, a wide berth. Thank you for your concern. I'll be praying for you to be reunited with the rest of Class 7 soon. Thanks. That makes two of us. Alright. So, that's cool. Rosine. Really, they're not cool what the soldiers were doing, but cool to find her. I think we've asked almost all of the townsfolk at this point. And yet here we are with Zip for clues. You sure they're really here? I kind of find it hard to believe your friends have gotten by without a single person noticing them. Valimar detected them, so they have to be somewhere in the area. If they're not here in town, then... They're either on the highway or somewhere else in this general region, right? I hope they're holding up okay. Hey there, you two seem like you've got time to kill. 
Yeah. The wrong voice. How about picking up a copy of the Imperial Chronicle? The latest volume's got a boatload of handy information. And it comes out at the low, low price of 100 mira. Not bad, huh? Uh, we got a pushy one here, don't we? Sorry, kid, but we're kind of busy at the moment. Whatever. Just take one already. You're gonna regret it if you don't. I mean it. It's gonna be nothing but regret. Well, I guess it can't hurt. Heh, <laughs> thanks. Was there a message? I feel like that was a pass-on message. Sheesh, he really wants that sell. Don't think I've ever seen someone that desperate to sell a newspaper before. He did have a point, though. Reading the newspaper is a great way to get a better idea of what's going on. True enough. Let's give it a read. Let's give it a read. Noble Alliance forces keep winning. The Alliance's work to eliminate rebellious elements all over the country is proceeding smoothly. With the latest official announcement reporting that 60% of the country is now under their control. One victory after another. The commanding officer I spoke to had inspiring words. The beloved General Aurelia Leguin and Brigadier General Wallace Bardius are both heroically fighting on the front lines with their armies at their sides. Needless to say, morale is astonishingly high. We, however, do have a good cause to fight for, and because of that, the commanding officers continue. There, there is absolutely no chance we will be defeated. <laughs> Governor Ragnitz arrested, huh? dad has been arrested. That's crazy. So all of a sudden the Imperial Army and all the high-ranking reformists are traitors, huh? The Imperial Chronicle is not even trying to be impartial these days. It's safe to assume the Alliance has complete control over it. Most likely. It looks like the Alliance is so sure of their victory they're getting things ready for when the war is over. That's how to do it if you want things to go your way. They're a cunning bunch. There's something stuck on the last page. Huh? You're right. A piece of paper? Is this a map? It looks that way. It's of the Eastern Highway. But what's with all the random numbers and symbols on it? There's more stuff written on the back, too. The one who takes the queen holds the key to the king. Is this some sort of code? It's gotta be. Please tell me this isn't from who I think it is. It does resemble Phantom Thief B's usual weirdness. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Except nothing's been stolen this time, so I doubt it's him. Hmm. Actually, the symbols in the layouts of the map reminds me of chess. What do you think, Toval? Chess? Maybe? It does look like a chessboard. But wait, that must mean... Let's assume that these colored letters each represent a different chess piece. In which case, the white Q must represent the queen. Then there's the black B and P, representing the bishop and pawn. Don't look at me. I don't know anything about the game you pe the games you people play. All you need to know is that he's on to something. Assuming your theory's right, that solving the message written on the other side shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, hopefully. You want to head to the highway? The best lead we've got. Taint hand drawn map. Okay. Um, before we actually go out there. Let's go to the market. Check the shops out. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you. Oh, is this the guy we did the mission for in the first one, I think? I didn't mean to talk to him, though. He just sells fruit. I'm trying to find someone that sells potions. There you go. That's what I wanted. 
Um, I can exchange my current Sabbath mass. That'll get me enough to buy a couple of stuff. Um, buy ten of these again. Ten of those. Um, buy one more reviving bomb, and then we'll leave it at that. Yes. Also, you know what? Cause... Nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. We, we should definitely... Definitely go. I was thinking about it, uh, and then I know, but the Orbital Factory is a good place to stop before we go about doing anything. Um, I want to exchange some Sabbaths. Get some cash. Let's get 600 of that. 400 of that. That, 500 of that, we'll keep that, uh, 200 of that, and 200 of that. There you go. What do you sell? S sell? What do you sell? What are you selling? Equipment, yes. Alright, we'll take the rock you. Take the twister. Um, if you're able. They might come in. Also, we can customize now, I believe, right? Yeah. Make the, uh, Kyokujitsu. And the Cyclone, which is better, right? Yeah. Alright. And are those equipped? Yeah. Kyokujitsu. And Cyclone. We should have another thing equipped, right? Yeah. Prevents blind. That would probably be kind of useful. We're good. We're going out uh, to the east Celtic Highway. 